How's everyone doing today? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. My name is Odie Matthews. Welcome back to my channel on this website we like to call www.orangejuice.com slash youtube.edu. And today we are going to take a look at the Peak Design 10 liter every day. Oh my God, it's a sling, sling. Let's get into it. Okay, so it seems that like slings and messenger bags are like a trend on my channel right now because I went through like a bunch of duffel bags and now I found myself going through a bunch of slings. So we're gonna keep it rolling with the Peak Design sling because actually what I'm doing is I am, I'm gathering a ton of slings, just bringing them all, bring them all in and I'm gonna um, either do them all like individually and then maybe I'll do like a big video. I've got like a sling, I want to do like a big sling episode. So if there's a sling, whether it be a small or a big, anywhere from like one liter to 10 liter, I'm gonna go bigger than that. Uh, let me know and I'll try to get my hands on it to include in that uh, future video. But today we're gonna to talk about this one from Peak Design. And this thing is killer. Peak Design is always, always crushing it when it comes to the products they make with the design, the function, the organization, just the comfort and the feel. Like Peak Design is just pfft, wizards, I've been told. Uh, over there and they this is no exception. I love Peak Design products. I have an everyday zip from them. I have the travel bag. I have a duffel bag. I have a wash pouch. I have the sling. I got other products from them and that we're going to get to down the line. But as for the sling, this thing has a very unique purpose and it's a really fun bag to use on like your everyday commute or trip or like a little walk and things like that. I found that this bag is just for the most part above all else, just like really enjoyable to use. And I am not a sling person by any stretch. I'm not the biggest fan of using slings. I'm more of a backpack or a small backpack kind of person. But ever since I've gotten some more slings, I found myself really enjoying them more. And for some people, this might not be the best thing in the world because you want that backpack. You want those true straps. This thing only carries, you know, a 13 inch laptop and it's very small, very minimal on what you can take and it kind of forces you to choose what you need to take for your daily commute as opposed to a laptop compartment in a backpack that you might take where it's like a 15 inch and you can carry all your stuff and you can have all your pouches and blah 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 and coats and all, all that stuff in there. This is a whole different ball game. Slings are a whole different ball game and I love it because for one, this thing is stylish. That's point number one, it's stylish. I got this in the gray and I love that it comes in a black as well and I think it comes in a blue and a white but I'm not 100% sure because sometimes like the sizes because this comes in a three a, in a, a three liter and a six liter as well but I think the colors like some colors come in some sizes and not others and back and forth but I've stuck with gray pretty much for all my Pete design products and I like the gray on like the light leather brown aesthetic this thing just looks super cool it's a very stylish little bag that I think really sticks out and stands out for a lot of reasons. That's point number one. Point number one is I think it's stylish. Point number two is the materials. Peak Design is killer when it comes to their materials. So the materials on this, the outer shell, this is like a 400D, uh, it's like a double double coated uh, poly, like DWR, so it's got that, that water resistance and everything. And it's just a nice, good, rigid material that like, has a nice feel to it. It's got like a little bit of like a sandpaper feel to it a little bit, but like water just flows off this thing. You've also got weather guard zips, YKK weather guard zips. Even the one that's kind of a little bit protected here by this like little flap is still weather guard zips. So that extra security, that extra protection, what you like. It has uh, the ability to have like the security protection, which I don't really ever do this, but it's like a little loop here. And you can like feed this, feed this through as my phone goes off. I don't really, I don't really do it, but it's got, if you can see right there, you can like, you can feed the zippers through that. I hope that actually came in focus because I, I don't know if it's in or not. But anyways, what I'm getting at is the materials, the hardware. It's got these, these, these like metal axle points right here that for the rotation, it's got this, this wonderful quick release buckle right here for easy. I mean like, and this is what you want in a sling bag. In a sling bag, you want a bag that's like really like the way this thing works is you just like crank it up, crank it down and like tighten, loosen. And like, I like that because I want, I like my sling to be tight when I'm wearing it. But when I throw it around, I don't want it to be thrown around and it's like up here and I'm like uh, T-Rex arming to get into it. You know what I mean? So with peak, you just, you just clank that buckle and zip it and it loosens up and you can slow, slow it around super, super easy. 
And I like that. It makes it very easy to access this bag and to sling it around and to loosen and to tighten it because it's simple as just moving that buckle up and down which is also what makes this strap so great is for one the way that this these axle systems work it makes it very very easy to move the strap around but then this this wonderful big strap that is literally it's not too beefy and it's not too thin it just has the perfect amount like literally the perfect amount of padding on this thing because it's like it's not very it's like it's not rigid like it's not rigid at all but when it's on your it's on your shoulder and it covers like from here to back here or, or however you carry this thing like it's just it's so comfortable man like i absolutely love it it's so it's so nice and that's the thing with peak design is even the crappiest product that comes out of peak design is still going to be made super super well which is insane because they use great materials great hardware and they put a lot of thought into the building and stuff which also you got this wonderful strap right here this one handle this one point of carry which is this foam carry handle right here that just Again, you can carry like a briefcase and it's just, it's super, it's super nice, man. Like I really, really like, I like that a lot. So I will keep it, also keep in mind, if you do want like a messenger bag, like a legit messenger bag, like I just did one on uh, Nick, Nicky Nick, Nick and the boys messenger bag from Milliken, like a legit messenger bag. Peak Design also makes one. I don't own it. I might get my hands on it. Maybe let me know if you'd like me to. Uh, if you, if I get enough requests, then I'll make it a point to get that. Uh, but they have like a legit messenger bag. So if you want more of that style, and I believe their messenger bag actually fits a 15 inch laptop. Let me know. This is more for like camera type stuff. This is what's really designed for. But anyways, it's a whole other ball game. We get what I'm getting at. So yeah, stylish, great materials. And the other thing is the organization. Slings, I like a variety of slings. I have all different kinds from like really, really tiny slings that I just use when I can walk on my dog to keep his treats and my phone and my wallet in to like literally to 10 liter slings like this or my sling from like Boundary Supply, the Arclight sling that I did or, you know, like the little slings from Air or Wandered or Bellroy, some of the slings that I've been using lately just to kind of get a feel of. I like organization for, you're, you're gonna pick the sling that fits what you're gonna bring, right? So you're not gonna have like a camera with an extra lens and a jacket and a tripod and be like, well, I'll just get this three little, this three little, three liter sling from, you know, them, them guys over there, you know, you're gonna be like, okay, I need something that's gonna have the organization to fit my camera, my lenses, my batteries, my sunglasses, my keys, my wallet, my blah, 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 blah. And that's what this one does. This is a 10 liter. I really 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 like uh the organization because it has these like wonderful little dividers in there which you've seen um if you look at like the everyday zip backpack that i did a review on or even like the everyday that's not a zip they have those dividers in there that can make it where you can organize that bag and same with this only it's from a down motion instead of a side motion you can organize that bag however you want and you can keep things on like little shelves or tucked away or hidden or some things that aren't you know, as you're not gonna use as much, can be behind a flap or under a flap, but they keep all that in mind and Pete Design just does a really fantastic job. Uh, I've gone so many videos without cursing, it's just, I like, it's, <laughs> but it's awesome. I like the organization on this bag, which I'm gonna show you all of that. That is my gist on this bag. I just wanted to lay those points out. Stylish, material slash hardware is fantastic and great organization. That is my basic, beginning just on this. Now I'm going to open this bad boy up and show you the organization and show you kind of how I set it up and we're going to get into all of that. So let's start with the outside pocket. Right now I don't have anything in here, but this is a little, just a little outside pocket. I do know that an iPad mini will fit in here, but with this bag or the sling fully packed out, it is a very tight fit in this one. So I found this one to be a better in my daily life. I threw my, my phone in there, right? I should have gotten an OtterBox case. Makes everything a little bit more difficult, but I would throw my phone in there and then my wallet on top of that, and that's just kind of where it goes. Because when I'm walking, sometimes I don't, I don't like to have my phone in my pocket because I'm weird and the way that phones fit in pockets just make me uncomfortable. But it's a great pocket for a phone, and even if you have a rubber case on it, you know, but I mean, that's a rubber case. It's just a pain in the ass, right? So, great pocket for like a phone, keys, wallets just like this is like essentially your quick access and it works really well and it's padded you can even throw like your glasses in here things like that and again wonderful ykk zippers but the main part of this bag is the main compartment but wait before that you also have some lash straps down here right so you could fit underneath 
a tripod or like a yoga mat maybe or anything like that with these like little straps. I tried to put like a gorilla pod and stuff, but it just didn't, it was too short. So you do have wonderful, and these are completely customizable where you can move them to. Uh, I do believe, and I don't really use these, I threw them on here just to show you, but you can, uh, there is one that goes, I think, mm, doesn't quite reach. You can, there is one that goes across the front if you wanted to keep something tight, but there's not a lot of room there. These extra points on this bag, right? So you got a couple other little little doodads right here that are just like where you connect these straps to. These are for their P Design has a lot of camera equipment. That's one of the things they specialize in, which I really want to get my hands on their tripod. I just don't have an extra five hundred dollars because uh, they're expensive, but holy crap, they're amazing. Everyone loves them, and I really want to get one. But they have like some camera like quick access stuff where you can. You can kind of clip it right here, and then your camera can literally be right here. So while you're walking, you'll be like, oh, yellowtail swallow penguin bird. Click, 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 click. I don't know. I'm not a bird watcher, but I imagine that's probably a real species. Or whatever you want to take pictures of throughout your daily life. Maybe you're a PI, you know? Maybe you're a private investigator, and you, uh, you know, taking pictures of people doing naughty things. You know? I don't know. Maybe you need to get it quick. Maybe you also want to blend in so you have this awesome stylish sling, and no one's going to be like, that dude looks like he um, stalks people for a living. You know, I don't know, I don't know. So you open this main compartment up, right? And it is, it doesn't open very big, right? So it just has this little opening right here. And in the back, the first thing is 13 inch laptop, right? And it is a tight fit for a 13 inch, but it does, it does fit just barely, but it does and, I, and it, it, it works. But you could also easily fit an 11 inch tablet back in there as well so you do have the ability to fit a laptop but some people you know you have those 15 inch laptops or you have like a laptop where you're also bringing like a stand and a keyboard and a mouse unfortunately you know this specific sling isn't going to work for you honestly if you have that kind of setup i would move to like a messenger or like a more techie backpack one of my personal daily carries for stuff like that that's one of my favorites is like the wander duo it's a fantastic bag for doing stuff like that but anyways that's beside the point so what was I talking about? Laptop is out. So what I have in here, I'm just going to pull it all out real quick, um, is I have the Peak Design Field Pouch. This is where I keep my tech organization. I love this minimal tech organizer. I, I keep getting new ones and I use them. I was using the Mon one from Monarch for a while, but like I keep finding myself going back to this because I don't bring a lot of tech gear and it packs down so slim and it also has the ability to be worn on my hip and stuff. And I just, I, I love this thing, man. Um, and then I also have uh, my Sennheiser PX550 noise canceling headphones, best over the ear noise canceling headphones I've ever owned, um, fit in there very nicely. And then I just have an extra lens in there. So I did have my camera in here at one point and underneath the camera I had my lens and the camera fit very nice and you can kind of see that the foam divider folds down and makes like a little shelf, right? So I'm gonna pull these out. Oh, before I pull these out, you also have this pocket up here right it's a little guy that i put my sunglasses in and you also have these little can you see okay i think i can get this i can get this i don't have my little camera set up today but you see those right so there's markings some are gray and some are black so you can kind of keep track they fit batteries these are the, these are for sony the a series uh, i have an a6000 so i think all the batteries are kind of similar but you can kind of put you know your batteries up in here and be like oh these two are good these two are bad or these are charged and these aren't or you can just put all, all four up there if you want but i did two batteries and then my sunglasses next to them because this is like a really nice pocket man this material is just fantastic i love the peak design materials they're so good okay so i'm gonna pull one of these dividers out right so these are the dividers that peak just i thought this bag was packed out my thoughts i just i just sank um back hurts uh so these are the peak design folders right so they have the velcros they fit in there and this is that little shelf i was talking about right so you can you can make like a little oh well make me a shelf type of deal right or you can fold the whole thing down and make a whole shelf or you can kind of do it like like this and this is how i did i had my camera sitting right here and then i had at the bottom this extra lens sitting like that right and the camera is sitting on top and that works fine and then hide the other dividers just up straight to kind of 
a little curved, so my Sennheiser just kind of fit in there nice and perfectly. And then same thing with my Peak Design uh, field pouch. So I'm gonna pop this back in real quick and kind of show you down in there, right? So that is what the inside of the bag looks like. You have two dividers and you can use however you so please and it works super, super well, right? And you can easily fold these down and make shelves. And that's what I was getting at where, you know, maybe something that you need to bring with you, but you're not gonna be accessing it as much you could put underneath one of those shelves and something more important on top because in order to get to it, you'd have to move the thing on top out of the way in order to access what's underneath, but it would super, super work. So I really like that. But it's just, it's such a basic sling, man. Like it's so good. And another thing I didn't know, I didn't mention is the Peak Design logo up here. I actually um, really like the way they brand because it's just the aesthetic of it is super, super nice. So I really like that. And then there's another one on the, on the handle here. I try to mention branding just because some people like a lot of branding and some people like a little bit of branding. I think I like branding that fits just right with the bag. I don't like like a big, like if your bag is this big and the branding is like from here to here of like bag company, it's like, nah, it's too much. But like a little subtly, a little something that blends in. I like companies that kind of like blend the logo into the, into the bag. I think those are really cool. Those are some of my favorites. But anyways, beside the point. Uh, what was I getting at? I'm losing my train of thought so much tonight, today. T today, tonight? Um, it's like late. It's like nine o'clock. It's past my bedtime. I'm an old man at heart. Because uh, it's my birthday. As I'm recording this on the day before it comes out, and it's my birthday. So, um, you know, turning in big, uh, big two six. I look like I'm 12, but I'm actually going to be, I'm 26 today. So, if this video can get 26 likes or 26 views, or just 26 I don't know but yeah so recording on my birthday fun stuff but uh appreciate appreciate all the birthday wishes that uh, I did get already so appreciate appreciate that but by the time you're watching this unfortunately it's not my birthday anymore so sorry tough luck I love this thing and I love sharing it with you guys I uh, I really love all of the people that watch my videos you guys are so cool and so awesome and always getting good suggestions, always getting good comments. And I'm always getting emails and like instant messages on, on Instagram for suggestions and comments and, and I, and, and feedback. And, and that's one of the things I really like is like feedback. Like, you know, a lot of people said, Hey, you need to do close, closer ups. And usually I do, but with this one, I didn't really think it was necessary. So that's why I started setting up my little camera. So I appreciate all that. I really like this, this sling from Pete design. Uh, I would definitely look into it. If you're looking for a good camera, everyday kind of techie sling, even for like drones, I don't have a drone yet, but you can easily mix and match to make this like a drone setup, depending on how big your drone is. I don't know, are they three feet big or are they three inches? I don't know, I don't know anything about drones, but you can easily fit that in there. Like I said, this was like a kind of like a simple little tech work loadout that I had and it worked perfectly and I loved it. Peak Design 10 liter sling. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this bag, let me know in the comments below. And I will do my very best to answer those. Email me, odmatthewsbags at gmail.com. The full email spelled out is in the description of the YouTube video. Let's have a conversation, let's have a chat, let's talk about whatever it is, whether it's a suggestion, you want lists of things that might be good or bad, or whatever it is. You have more questions, want more videos, comments, anything like that, you just let me know. Send me an email, shoot it over. Uh, if you're looking for other suggestions on slings similar to this, I'm going to suggest the Nicky Nick messenger bag. Um, it's not technically a sling, but it does fit up to, uh, it's the same 13 inch, unfortunately, in the sense of the laptop, but it is like a sling kind of messenger bag combo. The Arc, Arc Light Sling from Boundary Supply is another good one that I really enjoy uh, using. Um, same thing with the laptop situation. Unfortunately, like I said, not a lot of slings offer the 15 inch. And then if you want one uh, that's pretty good, but you don't care too much about the laptop compartment, the Psycop Day Sling 2.0 is really good but of course i'm only going to suggest slings that i have a full video on so you can learn more about them i have more sling videos coming soon so like i said if you want more slings in that video the more slings i get if i get a bunch of suggestions for slings i'm just going to make like an hour long sling video and i'll time code each one so let me know uh, about that so get your hands on this thank you guys so very much for all the love and support that you give me keeps me going stay tuned 500 subscribers i've got a very special thing i'm going to do so um, subscribe, help me get to 500, or 
uh, just come back when I reach 500 if you don't feel like subscribing. I'm not gonna hold it against you. Uh, leave this video a like if you could, that super helps out. Uh, like I said, 26 likes for my 26th birthday maybe? I don't know. Uh, thank you guys again so very much for watching and I will see you next time.